Hello everyone. Um, welcome to Lexington Senior High School's rendition of High School Musical. <laughs> My name's Jack Scott and I'm the Vote Falk of East High and I just wanted to hope I just wanted to say that I hope you guys enjoy the show. And when I say what team, you guys say Wildcats. Ready? What team? Wildcats! What team? Wildcats! What team? Wildcats! Get your head in the game! Thank you. 
this kiss in ten, nine. Oh no, I have to go. I promised my mom New Year's Day. Harry, put your phone over in. I'll do it too. I had such a great time with you. Me too. Cross 
lovers with three, count them, three tap numbers. By thinking outside the box, Kelsey has brilliantly swapped out a tragic ending with a happy ending in which the two lovers both live and move to Albuquerque. <laughs> It is simply bursting with sword fights, meddling parents, and teenagers caught in the grip of forbidden love. If you kids can't relate to that, I'll eat my drum. Now, there'll be single auditions held for supporting roles and chorus, as well as pair auditions for our two leads. Mr. Danforth, this is a place of learning, not a football court. Save your labial frigatives for someone of your own primitive ascetic. This year, as always, the drama club faces a dearth of male participants, so please come in and audition. I offer you the chance to spread your wings into bald new horizons. I'm offering you the timeless allure of the grease paint, the magical power of the clay light. All right, I'm offering you extra credit. Ah, the dreaded cell phone symphony returns to our crucible of learning. Sharpay and Ryan Evans, your phones please, and I'll see you in detention. We have zero tolerance for cell phones during class, so we'll get to know each other in detention. Phone please, and welcome to East High, Miss Montez. Ah, Mr. Bolton, I see your phone isn't off. Splendid. We'll see you in detention as well. That's not even a possibility, Jarvis. Your sir. Because we have basketball practice at the school. It's That's 30 minutes for you too, Mr. Danforth. <laughs> count them. That can be tough for Chad since he probably can't count that high. Taylor McKessie, 35 minutes. But I've never had detention a day in my life. Well then, happy new year. This ain't my first time at the rodeo, kiddies. Shall the carnage continue? Ah. Uh, Saved by the bell. You may collect your cell phones after detention. Have a wonderful day. Uh, the ugly old should be lots of fun. 
No, no, I was just looking over the bulletin board. Lots going on at this school. Wow, nice time you should. So I wish you doing a vacation tour, so what did you do? Uh, basketball, snowboarding, more basketball. I gotta go, uh, practice at all. You're so dedicated, just like me. I hope you come watch me in the musical. Promise? Maybe it's my hair. that goes something like this. Troy Bolton, if you don't get your butt to basketball practice on the double, you are grounded for a week. Later, Beeps. All right, guys, bring it in. And remember, the chain's only as strong as weakest links. When the going gets tough, the clock gets going. I guess you know that one. Okay, man, give me 10 minutes of whip drills and let me see some hustle. Sorry, I'm late, coach. Hey, so, three point hours, but if you could it, just for this right? You can see LeBron James or CT O'Neal ever try to fulfill screen music. I mean, but it's good for college, though, you know? I think it's that basketball scholarship. Ow! You're the team captain, Bolton. Get your head in the game! Man, you're that stuff. Alright, team, run the shuffle drill.
my brave little detention menagerie. We thespians often use animals to help build the characters we play. Be the bear. Be the ostrich. Be the monkey. You're all doing brilliantly. Chum, 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 now explore. Wait, wait, wait. Ryan, do you want to be an ostrich? Of course he does. Ryan? It's okay. Ostriches are cool. I guess. Well, for Charpe, maybe, but what about you? Me? Of course! Unless you want to live the rest of your life in the shadow of your sister's ostrich. The answer is yes. Huh? I'm so glad you're taking 
change your mind about the sexy couple and the credence was like these, what would that title? For sure! Where did those come from? Didn't you slip them in my locker? Of course not! Well, we'd love to have you on the team. We meet almost every day after school. Please? I don't know. I mean, I need to catch up on the curriculum here before I even think about joining any clubs. They weren't acting like idiots. They were acting like actors. 
If Chad and Troy were theater performers instead of athletes, would you seek preferential treatment for their actions? I think not. Darvis, we are days away from the biggest game of the year! And we are in the midst of auditions for our winter musical! This school is about more than sweaty young men in baggy shorts flinging balls for buckets! Baskets! The West Side Knights have knocked us out of the playoffs for three years! Yes, and despite your consistent track record of defeats, the school board still sees fit to allow Kate ten times the amount of money for school athletics as it does for the arts programs! Win! Lose! It doesn't matter! I'm trying to teach these kids about having a goal, about teamwork, something that keeps us adults. Which is precisely what I'm trying to instill in them. How? By making them scream up top of the lungs? Philistine! Crackpot! train wreck of a school day. The auditions for Julian Romeo will start at 3 p.m. sharp, so he barely forsooth dudes better revet the honored vocal cords. This is Jack Scott, over and out in five, four, three, two, and one. Make to Hugh and Sutton. <laughs> it's showtime, folks. Give it your best shot.
long hair has shined up. Is that right? No, well, Ryan, Chope, show us your shop. I'm quite keen. Hey, thanks, but our rehearsal pianist uh, did our arrangement for us.
posse or whatever it's called. Uh, team. But th they're not here. I'm here alone. I'm, I'm here with her. Yes, well, I treat these shows just as seriously as your father treats his basketball practices. I called for the Juliet and Romeo auditions, and you didn't respond. Now, I'm very sorry, but we've simply run out of time. You're out of luck, Jack. Troy. Hey, you're the one who wrote that song that Ryan Sharpage sang, right? Uh-huh. And the whole show, too? Uh-huh. How long did it take you to write it? About two years. I get up at five every morning before school. Wow, that's amazing. You're really dedicated. So, why are you afraid of Sharpage? I mean, it's your show. It is? Yeah, of course it is. Isn't the author of a musical, like, the playmaker in basketball? A playmaker? Like, the one who makes everyone else look good. You know, without the playmaker, you can't do anything. You're the playmaker here, Kelsey. I am? Well, would you look too left to hear how that song is supposed to sound?
response to Troy Bolton's callback for the school musicals. Students are even spotted dancing and singing on the school tables in the cafeteria. Clicks have gone wild in un unprecedented response to Troy Bolton. Clicks were even seen going. The humanity. Your son's the basketball guy. He must be so proud. 
Well, sometimes I don't want to be the basketball guy. I just want to be, you know, me. I saw the way you treated Kelsey at the rehearsals yesterday. Do your friends know that part of you? Are you kidding? To them, I'm the playmaker, dude. Then your friends don't know enough about you, Troy. Playmaker. That's such an odd phrase. What? You mean like Pythagorean theorem? No, that's pretty whack. Um, I think you mean Pythagorean. Oh, that's right. Totally whack. At my old school, I was the freaky math girl. That's all they thought I was. Always pointing at me, whispering behind my back. They made me feel like I was a freak, and I hated it. That's kind of why I want to keep a low profile here, you know? So I can just be me. But you can't let people stop you from doing what you want to do. I mean, you are what you do, right? That's easy for you to say. You're the big basketball star. You love the spotlight. I'm a lot happier curling up with a good book. Hiding? No. Maybe? Well, maybe. You remember in kindergarten, you'd meet a kid, know nothing about them, then 10 seconds later you were best friends because you didn't have to be anything but yourself? Right. Singing with you felt like that. Like, safe, you know? Well, I never thought about singing, that's for sure. But when I look into your eyes, I feel like I can do anything I want to do. So you really want to do the callbacks? Oh, I mean, I didn't really want to either. No, I'm in. Really? Really? Yeah, just call me Freaky Call Out Boy. You're a cool guy, Troy. But not for the reasons your friends think. You never know what you're gonna feel You never see it coming, suddenly it's real Oh, it never even crossed my mind That I could ever, ever hope to find someone like you
like the cake I baked for you? <laughs> no, it doesn't match my pants. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, wouldn't you like to come watch me play ball sometime? I'd rather suck the mucus out of a dog's nostril till the skull caves in. <laughs> that doesn't sound very appetizing. Wouldn't you prefer a nice creme brulee, tartufu, tiramisu? Oh, tiramisu. Why did I say tiramisu? Yeah. The jocks rule most of the school. But if Choi gets into the musical, they've conquered the entire student body. Don't play dumb with me, 
the oh, hotel. Oh, not Blake! Some very reliable sources told me all about your little plan to humiliate me in the drama club. And I'm telling you, it ain't gonna fly! Save your speeches for the stage! If you and your all-star son are planning some kind of practical joke in my chapel of the arts! Troy doesn't even sing! <laughs> well then, I guess you don't know your own son as well as you think you do. But I won't allow Juliet and Romeo to be made into a farce. Juliet and Romeo? See? I knew it. Very well, Bolton. You leave me no choice. If Troy is serious about auditioning, he's going to have to prove it. I won't allow either one of you to make fools of the drama club. Hey, you need my help to do that. And you, mister, I'm sorry, I'm lying. Miss Darvis. I thought you were genuine, Troy. Wrong again, I guess. What was that all about? You want to tell me something, Bolton? Something about singing? Um, I, I, you know. I, no, I don't know. Dr. Durain, you shoot my head up because she thinks you're plotting something. No, I mean, I, I was just helping a friend audition. That's all. It's nothing. You bet it's nothing. In case you've forgotten, you have the biggest game of your life coming up in two days. Get your head in the game for real, Bolton. Your team is depending on you. I was gonna stay after I work on my free throws. Since you were late for practice, again, that's the least that you can do. So, this is your real stage. I guess you could call it that. Or just a smelly little gym. Whoa, don't tell me you're good at hoops too. I once scored 40 points in the league championship game. No way. Yeah, that same day, I invented the PlayStation and the iPhone. <laughs> hey, I've been rehearsing with Kelsey. Yeah, me too. And I was late at practice again, so if I could take up the team, that will be on your conscience. Hey, I... Gabriella, chill. I'm sorry, miss. This is a close practice. But practice is over. Now don't do the last one, Mr. Jim Bolton. Team rules! Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Dad, this is Gabriella Montez. Your detention buddy? Psst, Gabriella! Taylor needs to open the lab right away. Hip hop, hurry! I'll see you later, Troy. Um, nice to meet you, sir. Goodbye! <laughs> this issue was my fault, not hers. You haven't missed practice in three years. That girl turns up, and you're late twice! That girl is Gabriella, and she's very nice. Helping you mispractice doesn't make you very nice. Not in my book, or your team's. But she's not just a girl. But you're not just a guy, you're the team leader. What you do affects not only this team, but the entire school. In case you... Oh. Get your head in the game for real. A lot of things are special. You blow this chance, you regret it the rest of your life. You mean... Like you? You're a playmaker, Bolton. Not a singer. Don't you think that maybe I could be both? And my name's Troy, Dad, not Bolton.
podcast first. It's for the championship fight. Worried about some free answer or audition for musicals? Do you think these paradigms of education and accomplishment concern themselves with jocks or auditioning for musicals? I don't think so!
desk work, why do we all have to do what you say? <laughs> Maybe because I know what I'm doing. Just do what I tell you. I'm not taking any chances. That role is mine. I was born to play it. Man, somebody in this room ought to chill out, sister, and it ain't me. Look, we'll always get the roles that we want. We always do. Ryan, I'm not just talking about my role in the musical. I'm talking about my role in, like, the school. I'm not a jock. I'm not a brain net. But you know what I am? I'm a star. That's my role. And if they take that away from me, then who am I? Well, <laughs> I mean, you could be just our pay. That isn't so bad, is it? Brain dead. <laughs> I'm not just gonna be some just I pay. I mean, on stage, I can be Annie Oakley, I can be Juliet, I can be anybody I want to be, not just some dumb Sharpe. <sighs> Ryan, I need something to make me fabulous. Oh, come on, they named me after a dumb, flabby dog. <laughs> Sharpe, we've had lead roles every year since birth. If we get it again, great! If not, we're still fabulous. And besides, they could have named you something else like Shih Tzu, or Pug, or... But, but Troy and that, that thing. Look, Sharpe, maybe he would like, Troy would like you more if you were just yourself for once. Excuse me, Dr. Phil, but what do you know? I am, a kid. I am only eight minutes from No, no, eight minutes are important minutes. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't know you guys were right here. Oh, hi, Troy. Did you ask if I come switch roles with you and audition with you? The answer is yes. Ryan, you're fired. Sharpe! No, actually, um, I'm looking for Gabriella. Have you seen her? Who? <sighs> Forget it. Hey, I seen her headed to the theater, like, ten minutes ago. Hey, thanks, Ryan. You're all right. How could you stab me in the back like that? <laughs> Helping the enemy? <laughs> I stabbed you in the well, back? I'll lose you in a minute. <laughs> now, start from the top, and you better lose some stupid jazz squares. Thank you. 
first. We have to tell our friends. Yeah, we have to tell them that we're going to do the musical after all. Well, let's get moving. We're burning daylight.
for Joanne and Romeo are in the theater. And the league winning basketball championship is in the gym. Wow, cool, baby. And he's on. Red Hot East High Wildcats take the court. Led by team captain Troy Bowen. Ladies and gentlemen, let the callbacks begin. You have five minutes to solve this equation. Ready, set, and... Congratulations to all. The cast list will be posted. Miss Darvis, we're here. 
I called your names twice. Where were you? Please, we only have a few more minutes. Rules are rules, Miss Montez. Please, Miss Thomas, just give us a chance. A chance for what, Troy? To make a joke out of something that means the world to me? And to your classmates who came to audition? But this isn't a joke. I came because I want to give it my best shot. Please, there's only a few more minutes before the lights come back on. What's this? A full house? As president of the drama club, I say no preferential treatment. Those are your words, not mine. Troy just sabotaged the audition. Sharpay liked you because she was afraid of losing her position. Shut up! Is he telling the truth? Did you abuse the presidential power and knowingly lie to me? I didn't lie. I improvised. A little. We'll talk about this later, Miss Evans. Right now, off the stage. But I... Off the stage! They're all yours, Miss Darvis. Troy, Gabriella, you may start your callback. But we don't have a pianist. We can sing without one. Oh, no, you won't. Pianist here, Miss Darvis. Uh, you really don't want to do that. Oh, yeah? I really do. Ready on stage. Now that's showbiz. Then pretend it's me and you. Just like Kenneth, remember? I'm right here.
served him. She said, I'm not seeing her either. I wonder where he gets it from. Who saw her in flight? No, seriously, where does he get it from? What about your team? We went too. Team Pony UK, watch out. They saw me to the after party, right? I got a date. Let's be your lucky day. That means good luck. Thanks, Sir Tate. Don't mention it to anyone.